everybody. Okay, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. It's a little bit high risk, I have to admit, because I'm using kind of, you know, nice, nice-ish canvases. Oh, before we start, I gotta show you. Last crazy lady. Remember my t-shirt? <laughs> it washed okay. That's washed. And yeah, um, well, okay. I admit there's some problems with the design and composition, but theoretically this will work. I'm going to try it again. Next time I'm going to do it flat and I'll probably do balloon kisses or something like that, but it works. The paint stayed on. It'll probably fade a little bit as, uh, you know, when I wash it more, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So what I want to do today. So I'm going to, mm, I'm going to flood this canvas heavily. I'm going to put a fair bit of paint on it and I'm going to do a ribbon pour with these colors. I've got, these are all artist loft metallics. I got copper, blue, emerald green. I've got a little bit of my folk art, my last little bit of my favorite color, folk art aquamarine. So I'll only be able to put a little bit in there. And then I'll put a little bit of black. And what I want to do is a ribbon pour. I'm going to put a fair bit of paint on this canvas. And then I'm going to do a dip. And then lift it up and see. So I'm going to have to flood around the outside of that canvas. And I'll probably do a light flooding on that, I think. And then I'll flood this one and put a lot of paint on it. Flip this one over. And, uh, you know, kind of it's a dip, I think you call it, eh? So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do the flooding. And then we will get going and see how this works. Okay. Oh, I can bet. Okay, we're flooded. Okay, so I'm going to make my cup and get ready for the ribbon pour. Um, I'm going to use kind of mostly this blue. Copper, you know me, I gotta have copper, and I would like a lot of it to show this time, so I'm hoping it'll show. And a little bit of green, I don't want too much, too much green. Oops, I think I put too much green. <laughs> oh, sorry, I guess you can't see what I'm doing. Put some more blue there. It's going to be a lot of paint, but when you think of it, it's going to be for two canvases. So I'm going to put the rest of my beautiful aquamarine blue in there. Oh, I love that color. Well, I'm going to save a little bit. <laughs> I just can't. Let's see. Let's put copper beside that. And then just a little bit of black. Okay, so that's quite a bit of paint. Oh, I just need to torch. Forgot to torch. I just mixed this white paint today, so ooh, I might have a lot of bubbles. Oops. So I've got all my edges nice and covered that off just in case it interrupts things. Okay, so, and I think I'm going to paint, I'm going to pour it kind of in the middle, a bit of a wavy type thing. Here we go. I don't know how this is going to work, guys, but it's been on my mind so long, i got to try it. Um, I guess I do want to get a bit on the edge. It's a lot of paint. Gotta go down that end. That's torched a bit. Well, 
Okay, are we ready? I <laughs> pulled out my sleeves. I hope I don't have a hard time getting it apart. I think I can grab the middle thing. Ugh, here goes, guys. Try and line it up. As square as I can. And touchdown. Okay, whoops. Now, I think what I'm gonna do, I should have got, like I need a card or something. I need something to, stick it together, you know, or spread it out. Um, something kind of flat. Oh, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Ice scraper. <laughs> Gotta keep everything handy. You never know what you're gonna need. So if I do that, all the paint smushing around under there. I don't know how it's gonna work under those under the frames. I don't know that there's much I can do down there. Now, the thing I was wondering about is whether I should lift it this way or straight up. I think this way. I think that's what. I think I've left it long enough. Okay, guys, here it goes. smush on that side so I'm gonna just do a little bit of uh, tilting hmm not crazy about it you know what I'm gonna do it again oh this might be a huge mistake Here we go again. Oh. <laughs> That's a little better. That's more interesting. I think I like that guy right there. Take him off. That's cool. That's way more interesting. Okay, here we are. Look at that. A lot of green in that area. It's actually kind of okay. Wow, look at how intricate that is. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> look at that. It's really kind of neat. It's going to keep moving and making cells and stuff. But it's pretty darn cool. There's the one up there.
that copper. Yay, finally my copper's showing. Kind of neat. So let's see how it dries. I think I like it. Yeah, they dried really nice. They didn't crack or anything. I thought they would because the paint was so thick. Whoops. Uh-oh. Something went boom. <laughs> Too much stuff in here. Yeah, no, they, they yeah, they, they dried nice. Lots of cool cells and everything. I don't know what's the best way to hang them yet. I kind of stuck them up this way, kind of opposite each other. I'm not sure. Anyway, they turned out good. I have to try that again.